Hi everybody. On stage 14, Wout van Aert did not go into the break, yet Visma Lisa Bay controlled it. This strategy had one flaw though, namely that Caden Groves and his full train made it through the stage to eventually outsprint Wout van Aert. An impressive ride by Alpecin and Groves. The GC going into stage 15 remains unchanged, and in the green jersey competition, Wout van Aert stays solidly in the lead. And he's taking an option on the Polkadot jersey as well. Which brings us to stage 15, a 143k short yet tough Asturian mountain stage, presenting the riders with roughly 3,700 meters of elevation gain. Prior to the mountaintop finish, they'll climb the Alto de la Coladiela twice. The Alto de la Coladiela is a relatively short climb with steep sections to tire the legs. In preparation of the Cuito Negro mountaintop finish, which is brutal and is the only climb labeled our category in this year's Vuelta. It starts gently, ramps up in the middle section to feature ramps up to 23% beyond the Pajares ski resort. It is a very irregular climb and money time for the GC who'll battle it out for the win on this 25k long climb. If I were AG2R, I would not take control of this stage and leave that up to Bora instead, a role I expect them to take on. They may allow a break up the road though, and then just smash the Cuito Negro. A similar stage has been ran back in 2012, at that time won by Cataldo from the break. Here's the stage odds at the time of recording with Roglic the outright favorite, and here's the riders to watch in my book. Landa at Quickstep and Carlos Rodriguez at the Grenadiers, Vainor Soler from the break, for UAE and Kus at Visma Lisa bike. As a complete wild shot, I would love to see AG2R sending Parepinter into the breakaway, and I expect O'Connor to lose the red jersey on this stage. Carapaz at TF, Roglic at Bora, and Mas at Movistar. Godu at Groupama, Michael Woods at Israel Premier Tech, the winner of stage 13, has to try and get in the break once more. Schmidt or Dunbar from the break at Jaiko Alula, and Skelmoza at Little Trek from the GC group has a good chance of riding into the top 10 here as well. And finally, I'm also calling Pool at DSM from the break. Roglic is my only 4 star favorite for the stage. Landa and Mas get 3 stars. Skelmose, Carlos Rodriguez and Goduc get 2 stars. And Dunbar, Woods, Fine and Schmidt each get 1 star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm calling Roglic ahead of Mas and Landa. It's going to be a fairly warm day and I believe Mas will have put his bad day on stage 13 behind him. Enjoy the stage and see you tomorrow for my rest day recap and stage 16 preview.